end. Mobile tracking is the idea that whenever you're interacting with your mobile device, using it for the internet and these sorts of things that you're using, the different apps that you have on your phone, all of them are able to associate you with some unique identifier, some number that represents you, and that it stays the same. It could be, for instance, the phone on the device, it could be an, a special advertising identifier which is frequently used for these sorts of purposes. The idea is that whenever you're using your mobile device to visit a website or to use a different app, this identifier is tracking you. It's recording what you're doing and associating it with this identifier that uniquely represents you. And all of this information can be then amalgamated by these advertising companies and these analytics companies to just figure out exactly what you're doing when you're using the internet, what you're doing when you're using different apps, what ads that you see, what products that you buy, where you go to on the internet, what news articles you read, and so on. And on top of that, because the mobile device is so sensor-rich, it can access things such as your location and also associate this information with your ad advertising IDs or other identifiers that are able to uniquely track you as you go through the digital world. Well, the fact is that this data is being collected by advertising companies, analytics companies, these may not be malicious in themselves, but again, a lot may not be known about them. There's certainly advertising companies and analytics companies that I've seen that are sending information about users to random IP addresses in China or in Russia, and who knows where this information is going behind the scenes. It's a kind of an opaque world. Once user data is exfiltrated off these mobile devices and sent to an ads or analytics company, it's up to their goodwill not to do anything bad with it. And certainly, users' location is pretty sensitive information, and you can understand that for a lot of people on the planet, there's a lot of vulnerable people whose location is much more sensitive, much more critical to not be exposed. It's kind of interesting to think that a journalist and their source Though if they both carry their phones and use some standard apps, then these advertising companies would be able to associate that this is a source of that journalist more readily than anyone else in the intelligence industry who's just following them around. What people can do to protect themselves, unfortunately, at the moment, is not a lot. We have the, created this world where advertising revenue is the primary way of monetizing all of the internet and people's interactions with the internet, and that now extends to mobile devices. Whereas before it was just a browser and the amount of sensitive information is much less reduced because a browser is protected protects all of the user's files, browsers can't access the normal files, and there's not a lot of sensors that can be turned on. Unfortunately for the mobile device, you have things like the camera, you have things like the microphone, the GPS. There's a lot more sensors that are available and users are carrying this around with them at all times and all moments of their life. So what can users do to protect themselves, unfortunately, is to not use apps, not connect your phone to the internet, these sorts of things that aren't really useful or helpful suggestions to actual users. Um, what my research and what I'm trying to do is expose wrongdoing when I find it, help work with regulators to enforce laws that already exist, help enforce privacy regulations that are already on the books, shame companies when they are crossing the line or doing egregious sorts of behaviors, and hope to create a more humane way of dealing with users' privacy as we go forwards.